how do our doctors actually figure out if we have the virus or not? We sent our Casey Torres to a private lab where researchers are processing hundreds of tests to see exactly how this all works. Scientists are working overtime at Tricor Reference Laboratories. One of them is Dr. Carissa Cobra, the Chief Medical Director of Infectious Disease Diagnostics. I have actually always been interested in science. Um, some of the uh, kind of first things that got me interested in science were viruses and these type of virus pandemic situations. That's a huge coincidence since she is now at the forefront of tackling COVID-19, a new strain of the coronavirus family. A big chunk of of test samples from all over the state make their way to the lab in Northeast Albuquerque 24 7. The first step that happens is that we have to um, what we call is extract the uh, genetic material from the virus um, and get that material ready to be detected. Scientists wear protective gear, but there's no need for a hazmat suit. Dr. Cobreth says the viruses are deactivated and aren't contagious. Then the samples are taken for detection in a room we didn't have access to. The virus itself is even uh, invisible to the naked eye, um, and so we have to use highly specialized uh, instruments to be able to detect the genetic material. Uh, the test itself uh, takes about four to five hours, but because of the volume of specimens that we're getting, uh, we're taking about three days from the time the specimen is collected to be able to give the patient um, a result. It's a lot of hours at work. I, I've lost count for sure, uh, but we we are putting in more hours on this than I think we've done um, on anything else in a long time. And a lot of sacrifice from a mom of two. So it's great to be able to know that, you know, while in the midst of this, um, you know, trying to balance keeping the kids safe, uh, balancing kids being out of school. Uh, so I'm grateful for my husband who stepped up uh, and helping with the, the school schedule. Her team has stepped it up too, helping each other to help flatten the curve. We're trying to take care of our community. So I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about my community and everybody who works here. We are invested in New Mexico. And when we test, it's to make sure that New Mexicans are safe and New Mexicans are healthy. Casey Torres, QB4.